growing up is a is a funny thing. Um, <laughs> uh, most people get to that point in life where they they have an experience that they they find it has a certain level of profundity, um, a, an experience that's usually called a, a religious experience. For me, in typical fashion, this came while studying physics, um, in particular a process called stellar nucleosynthesis. Um, they say that stargazing can be one of the most humbling experiences you can have. Uh, in fact, Neil deGrasse Tyson, a, a famous astrophysicist, was told by a, a psychologist who was studying insecurity that Neil's show about the cosmos was one of the greatest uh, contributors to the feeling of smallness that he'd ever seen. <laughs> and it's because when you, when you look up at that night sky, you see how unimaginably vast and distant and incomprehensibly strange the universe really is. Um, but it doesn't have to be that way. After the, the Big Bang, there were only two elements in existence, hydrogen and helium, and eventually those two formed the very first generation of stars. And it was in those stars, in those giant fusion nuclear reactors, that the hydrogen and the helium were formed together uh, to form new elements, and then recombined and recombined, all the way down to iron. And that is stellar nucleosynthesis. But when it gets to iron, the star can't use it anymore, can't use it as a fuel, so it just collects in the center of the star, it's the densest element, so it collects there, and it gets bigger and bigger in this giant ball of molten iron, and eventually the star can't take it, the gravital, gravitational pressures are too much, and is running out of fuel, so it collapses, and then explodes in a supernova. And the energy released in that explosion is so great that it creates the rest of the elements on the periodic table all the way down. So, when Carl Sagan says that we are star stuff, he's not being poetic, he's being literal. Because we can know that almost every single atom in our bodies was quite literally forged in the heart of a star. So when you look up at the night sky and you see how distant and strange and impersonal it is, you can feel a sense of kinship because your ancestry lies in stars exactly of the kind that you're looking at. All that strangeness, all that vastness is something of which you are a part. And all of that is a part of you. So that's what this next piece is about. This is entitled Forged by Stars. Thank you. 
Thank you.